Hi, I'm Dr. Arthi Thangadu. I'm a physician who focuses on diabetes, thyroid, hormones, and other metabolic diseases. Thanks so much for being here. I'm here to spread the message about evidence-based endocrinology. There is so much confusion about hormones out there that I wanted to be an expert source of information for you. Today, we're gonna talk about Addison's disease. So fun fact about Addison's disease, John F. Kennedy actually had Addison's disease. What are some signs and symptoms of Addison's disease? Well, people can have tanning of the skin. They can also be very, very sick. Patients with Addison's disease often present with nausea, abdominal cramping, weight loss, and are typically very sick. An interesting sign of Addison's disease is tanning of the skin. Patients can also have low blood sugar, low sodium, and high potassium. Addison's disease occurs when the adrenal glands stop producing sufficient cortisol, and they also often stop producing sufficient aldosterone or mineralocorticoid. Addison's disease is diagnosed with an ACTH stim test, as I described in my previous videos. It is treated with steroid replacement at physiologic doses. When a patient with Addison's disease gets sick, or they're having a surgery, they have to increase their steroid dose to keep them safe through that physiologic stress. If a patient with Addison's disease is off of their steroids, it can be life-threatening. Compliance with medications is really important for patients with Addison's disease. Patients with Addison's disease should also wear a medical alert bracelet and put a medical alert on their phone in case something happens to them. The good news is that if a patient with Addison's disease is properly treated, they can have a long productive life. Addison's disease is not a death sentence if it is well managed. Addison's disease is often an autoimmune condition, so patients with Addison's are likely at higher risk for other autoimmune conditions. Addison's disease can also come as a part of autoimmune polyglandular syndromes. So patients with Addison's may also have other hormonal problems. So we should have a high index of suspicion for other hormonal abnormalities in patients with Addison's. I hope this information was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with anyone who you think could benefit. Thanks so much for your support and see you next time.